Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and as you can see today is transmission again. So we continue working on this uh, 41T Chrysler transmission. Uh, we're done with with inside internals and all that. So uh, we still have other stuffs, stuff to do like a valve uh, housing and all that. But first thing first, we're going to continue... And we're gonna be doing the output shaft and the differential of this this over here this is a straightforward install nothing special uh no special tools required it's just uh, a really really simple install of this uh differential differential is right there and we have some of our output shaft uh, uh this is pretty much what it does. It just goes in there, right? It grabs the gear inside and it rotates, right? But in front, you have this other piece of the uh, bearing that goes on top right here. So it has to go like that. Uh, we're gonna place that in but before you place it in you want to change this uh, uh, oil seal and that's your uh, dry shaft oil seal same thing on this side other side so we're gonna place this one inside here like so in the manual it even tells you to not to apply no sealant uh, but I will apply a TDBD amount around here just to be safe because I don't want to be replaced changing this while it's on the car so yeah of course I'm gonna use a ultra black oil resistant Like I said, I'm just gonna apply a small amount just so it seals better. Even though manual tells you not to. But hey, can't ever be too safe regarding oil leaks and all that. So. Uh, the one that goes on this side, right, since you have all this, like that, the bolts are, it says 10.9, and they're a little bit longer, so what you're going to do, you're going to lift this one up, so it goes kind of inside there, align the bolts all of them there is no gasket for this so don't even uh, bother looking for it because there is none alright so we're gonna look for the 14 millimeter. I just had it second ago oh here it is and ratchet
in there. Just a snug for now. Uh, next. Here it is right here. Same thing. We're going to apply a little bit of uh, sealant. Because this right here, this area, is actually being lubricated by the transmission oil. So, if this is not sealing really good, which I don't understand <laughs> why they said not to do it, oil is not going to leak through there. But, I'm sure they have their reasons. We do not need this anymore for now, at least. Uh, this one is a little bit trickier, right? You have to find where these two are, which they're right here. Surface is all clean. Then you have to lift this one a little bit. So it kind of goes in there have one of the bolts right here and the other one on the opposite side and then start tightening it because that's gonna tighten a little bit continue on this side tighten a little bit continue down a little bit a little bit no pressure if, like if it's hard to tighten stop you're doing something wrong like that all right install the rest of them uh, some people suggested also putting a thread locker on these I seen them seen people doing it but Torque is uh, 20, 21 foot pounds, I think, or 23. I think it's 21. So we're going to tighten all these snug before we torque it. And these bolts, all of them have M, M, M stamped on it. So that way, you know, they go here. All right. So I'm going to get my tacked on torque wrench. and it says 21 this is 20 T 21 right here let's confirm that uh torque the retainer and housing bolts to 21 foot pounds yep and we're gonna torque it crisscross one Three, four, five, six, all done. All right. 
this side now. One. done. I wish this torque wrench had a push to eject. That would be awesome. But oh well. It goes there. This one goes here. Make sure you always zero it out. Back to the minimum. There we go. You can hear it. Some assembly loop. The reason why is that doing like that because it's not there is no gear on this side so that's why it's making that noise. Alrighty. So we are getting closer and closer every day to putting this baby I mean to finishing it finally so yeah that's that was easy uh, how to install all that the upper shaft and uh, differential as you can see works really good so now all it's left is to put the cover on which uh, I do not have I have a cover but it's it's being painted right now I already painted it just been behind for a couple hours already so I gotta wait for that to dry 100% then I'm gonna put the gasket on put some sealant in between that and uh, this side should be ready to go but anyway I really appreciate you guys are uh, sticking around and watching my videos guys uh, lately it's been uh, kind of busy and uh, been working a lot and uh, this is taking forever I know but I'm here now and uh, doing the best I can with the amount of time that I have and uh, yeah uh, I'm almost done like I said and a uh, couple of more videos I think it should be back on the car anyway i really appreciate you guys uh watching it thank you for all the new subscribers of course if you have any questions regarding this transmission or pretty much anything else hit me up in the comments and i'll be more than happy to help you all again thanks again guys for watching make sure you like it share subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys next time there it is